hey, hello, and uh, my name is Shelly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And um, today it's a book haul. So I um I have a bunch of different piles of books in front of me, and um, I guess let's just get stuck into them, shall we? So let's start with this one which is a pre-order that basically just came in um well i opened the mail like yesterday or the day before something like that and it is uh with this kiss by carrie hope fletcher and um can we can we talk about these sprayed edges please because and also uh, yes it's a signed edition but these end papers. I don't even need to know what the book is about or read the book. It's just so pretty. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have read all of uh, Carrie's previous books. So, I mean, I will continue on reading any book that she puts out, basically. She's one of those authors I just buy the, all the books from. Yeah. Um, so the next four books actually came as a box set and uh, they are books that I have all previous read uh, but they have new covers. So it's the Court of Thorns and Roses series, Akita. <laughs> so we have a Court of Thorns and Roses a Court of Mist and Fury. A Court of Wings and Ruin. And then also a Court of Frost and Starlight. So, yes, I have read all of these books before um, with different covers. And, uh, you know, since the A Court of Silver Flames, I think it's called? Um, the last book in this series so far. Uh, since that has a completely different cover and doesn't match the other ones I own, which are... Where are they? Are they... They must be up here. Um, <laughs> since they don't match, I have not been able to read Silver Flames yet. But, um, yeah. It's time. It's time. Uh, I did pre-order A Court of Silver Frames in paperback. That's... I think it's coming out like May 26th or something. I don't know. Um, it will not be in my hands on May 26th and that's fine. I do have four other books to read before I can read that one anyway. So, moving on. Uh, when Katie and Ezra got here, they brought me a book. Um, I mean, I mean, I'm sure they would have brought me more, but I only really did ask for the one book. And it is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And the reason I asked for this book is because I hate the UK cover. Uh, I'll, I'll put up a UK version over here and you can see. Um, yes, I like this one better. Uh, I do believe there's one like with the white parts in black instead. Um, but look, I, I, I like this one better, so this means I can read this book now. I did really enjoy the Lunar Chronicles, so um, I am very excited to read more of Marissa Maya. <laughs> and then I have two books that kind of just turned up at my door. Um, I mean, they had my name on the parcel, I just don't know who ordered it because I didn't order it um there was no notes I have no idea um but I've claimed them and I've read some of it so I have um <clears throat> let's remove these for now I have the Arcanum Unbound um which I have read a few of the stories and I've put like post-its for where the other stories are um and also uh, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. So no idea who bought me these, but I'm very grateful. And um, thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, thank you to whoever bought me those. I do not know who you are, but uh, thank you. So moving on to the books uh, I got when I went to London and M Edinburgh with Katie and Ezra. Um, these are actually thrifted. This pile is thrifted. Um, but I'm pretty sure they are actually new and not actually been read or done anything to by anyone because there is no markings whatsoever on them um i mean the only thing that's in them is um the bookshop has written in um like the price and stuff which i will be erasing because <laughs> i'm not keeping that in so and i don't know what order here but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see okay so i have false value and Lice Sleeping, uh, The Hanging Tree, The Furthest Station, and that's, uh, I hate the glares, and also Foxglove Summer by Ben Aronovich. So I've read the first two in this series, and I do have book number three and four, and if I am correct, I do now have books number five, five and a half because it's a novella six seven and eight so i best be cracking on these books soon i suppose and some books that weren't thrifted but i still bought when i was with katie and ezra um i have the last book in the miss peregrine series which is the desolations of devil's acre by ransom riggs so, chunky boy, but yeah, um, I will be glad to finish that series. And I also have the second book in the Andromeda Saga, which is Nexus by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Um, it's been a while since I read the first one, which is called what? Seen it? Seen it. <laughs> It doesn't actually say on the back. Um, so I think I will be rereading that one before I read this one. But this one is uh, a lot thinner than the first one. So hopefully it will go fast. <laughs> uh, I remember the first one had so many... Uh, a bit... Mm, weird moments. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, but I do want to finish the series and see how it all ends, really. And um, yeah, so there's that. And a book that's, I guess it's on TikTok a lot. It's one of those book talk books. I don't know. Uh, but I do want to read it. It's called The X Hex by Erin Sterling. And it's a very thin book, so I'm hoping to, like, when I pick this up, I'm gonna breeze through it. And hopefully, um, I've had mixed feelings about this one. It's like, um, some will say that the premise is so good, but when they read it, it was like, meh. Um, I don't really care. I will read it anyway. Um, also, I'm pretty sure this was only £3, so, yeah, no. <laughs> We do like a bargain and um so i've not read much from this author but i've read i want to say three books do they they have a uh little no there's no this author has written these books um what were they called frozen charlotte that's the one. Um, so this is Music and Malice in Hurricane Town by Alex Bell. So this author wrote, let's see, The F Frozen Charlotte and Charlotte Says, I think is the prequel. And then there were this Haunted House book. I don't remember. Um, but I did enjoy those books. They were like haunted YA kind of a book things um so <laughs> that makes no sense um i don't know what this one is about but 
I shall find out when uh, I get there, really. And so, then we have... The last two books I have are both by Veronica Roth and apparently this one, which is The Chosen Ones, um, apparently was supposed to have a sequel um, but for some reason, at least according to Goodreads, um, they've decided not to publish it or not write it whatsoever. I don't know. Um, but supposedly it was supposed to have a sequel. <laughs> that was a lot of weird words in one sentence. Uh, it was supposed to have a sequel, but yeah, we shall see if this will do as a standalone or if it's going to be one of those. What the fuck happened? I need to know what would have happened in book two, which does not and probably will not exist. So that's great. And the last book is also by Veronica Roth. It's called The End and Other Beginnings. And I'm pretty sure it's like a um, short story kind of a deal, but I'm not really sure. I'm not sure they like goes with any of her other books or if it's just like a combination of short stories. So um we shall see i suppose and yeah those were all the books i've um recently accumulated it's quite a few um uh, yeah there you go so thank you so much for watching i hope i shall see you all next time until then i'll take care oh boy